Earlier this year, in one of our many previous series, we took a look at men in advertising and decided they were all swaggering, blokey cocks. But some of you complained. Women can be cocks too, you said. And you know what? You're right. Oh, she's so sexy. Oh, she thinks she's so sexy. Oh, she thinks she's so sexy. Oh, she's got to rub the roses around her boobs. Actually, I did that the other day. Anyway, to redress the balance, we're going to take another look at the current top 10 cocks in advertising, except this time round, some of them are women. At number 10, a she-cock as pretty as her name suggests. I'm Nadine Baggett, celebrity beauty editor. And it can Why, Miss Baggett, without the sack on your head, you're passable. There's a beauty product that's been splashed across page after page of magazines and newspapers. I've splashed across page after page of magazines and newspapers in my time. Now Ola Regenerist is the worst kept secret in beauty. Yeah, and whose fault is that, you f***ing terror hawk? At number nine, ooh, someone's life's been changed by diet snacks. Who says you can't lose weight and enjoy yourself? Bobby Sands. I'm munching on chocolate bars. You're not. I'm snacking on pretzels. There's something weirdly bleak about this. If you've got so little going on in your life, you're astounded by snacking on f***ing pretzels, you might as well be dead. At number eight, Mr Vinwood Jonesington Smythe thoughtfully minds his language. Ah, oh, what? The sheep. Oh, no, no. I'm in the village of... I have no idea. Good job he wasn't driving through shit on Tweed. At number seven, it's Jose Gil Hernandez, president of Polarifold. Hi, I'm Jose Luis Hernandez, president of Polarifold. Hello, I'm your new neighbour. You know, it's not fair to mock his accent, so let's mock his trousers instead. To keep our prices competitive. If you want to hitch those pantaloons a bit higher, we can still see your neck. And number six, shut up and start shitting. Oh, it stinks! <laughs> Thanks for that. What's happening, darling? It's all gone, it's all gone. What's all gone? Your dignity. In the first take, of course, he just smeared that drawing on a bit of bog roll with his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> At number five, a big hairy f who does everything his sat nav tells him to. Take the next right. This one's in here just because he pulls some of the smuggest facial expressions in history. Now, enjoy. I'm driving my f***ing car. F***ing prick. At number four, is Davina's mum in the room or in her head? Look, mum, this colour's... Perfect. Oh, it is very you. You know, the last time I heard someone talking to their mother like that, it was Norman Bates. Your dress? What's that, mother? Will it do my bit of grey? Go cool, I'd do her mother's bit of grey. <laughs> what are you wearing tonight? Ta-da! <laughs> At number three, Orange think you're in kindergarten. I like getting a little extra time with my friend on the scrap of park. Or a roadside bend. I like it when they tell me about people who died, cause their houses burned down and their children fried. At number two, I run down Pretension Street. I've collected footsteps before dawn, seen places I never knew existed. Run to the moon and back. Like this dude's a poet? I've plugged into a higher purpose. Left this world and come back changed. No, you haven't. You've just gone for a jog. I am addicted. No, you am a dickhead. And at number one, everyone knows a cock like f face. Everyone knows a bloke like Mickey. Generally, they know him as that smug c down the road. To Mickey, hair isn't just hair. It's a weapon to be used to devastating effect. Bit like a hammer, really. Of course. He's got a look for every occasion. There's the fluffy cock. The windswept cock, the cock in glasses, the bell end, and the self satisfied shithorn. Wonder what hairstyle he wears when he's jerking off in front of the mirror. That's it for this week. Next time it's a TV news special. And now, since we've already run the credits, I'm just going to dump you straight back onto BBC Four. See ya.